But essentially, we have a lot of small cost things to get out. We have like Angela, Bass, Kitty, Ironheart. Get these out of our hand. And then we play Jane Foster on five after playing negative on either four or three with Zabu. And then we play Jane Foster to refill our hand. Should be a lot of fun. Uh, I need to always use the leader avatar now because I took six months off of my life getting it. So I, I think it'd be crazy not to not to use it in every single deck. Early Thursday. Welcome in, welcome in, welcome, welcome in. Mostly in control. That sounds about right today. Uh, if you guys missed um, my most recent video and my most recent stream, I did complete the Infinite Conquest. Is very exciting. Uh, I probably won't do it again in a really long time. So I decided on Twitch. Nope, I stream Sunday through thir Sunday through Tuesday on YouTube and Tuesday through Thursday on Twitch. What do I have planned for the weekend? We might go to Six Flags, which is an amusement park, which is very exciting. Uh, unless it gets super rainy, which it might. If not, I think I'm just going to have a chill weekend, catching up on stuff, getting work stuff done, uh, getting stuff around the house done. We have been busy every single weekend for the last... Last weekend we went to a concert, weekend before that we went to a wedding, weekend before that was my birthday. Weekend before that, we had something else that, that was really busy. We've had like six weekends in a row where we've been busy the whole time. So just having having a weekend off was really nice. But uh, Saturday, if we go to go to uh, Six Flags, that's that's like a fun thing to do. So it's not like a busy party weekend, you know. Six Flags near you sucks. Do you have the Texas one? I heard the Texas one is kind of mid. The Texas one is a bit mid, understandable. Look at this. We're going to hit play chat. We're going to go to gameplay with a stinger. We're going to turn off our music. We're going to turn on battle music. We're going to readjust. We're going to readjust our thing so that it's not askew. We're going to be on top of it today. Does that get you excited? It gets me excited. It gets me excited to get early Thursday off on the right foot. Look at that. Did all the things that we needed to do. Very first thing that happened is that we got ice blocked to Mr. Negative. Probably the worst thing that can happen while playing this deck. Not ideal. They're playing an honest Patriot deck. Uh, if we get Zabu next turn, we're fine. If we don't get Zabu next turn, we're Sag. What's in the hand, buddy? The thing? Whoa, he's like all the... Like all the cards you're not supposed to play. What a weirdo. Clobbering time indeed. I'm really... It's really weird to see a thing come out and not throw a bunch of... Fire hydrants and cinder blocks and what have you at me. Did I get it? You sick or did you change your mic settings? I don't know, someone else said that I... Uh, this is also you said that. I didn't change my mic settings. You're just not used to how awesome I sound. This is 10, 18, right? Or mid? 
Can't get over the top. Close. Try to try to sneak him over the right there. Wasn't enough though. Wasn't enough middle or right. What do you mean order? Certified negative is always worth. Probably not. People be saying order and not have any idea what it means. <laughs> it was indeed the last turn, yeah. Was indubitably the last turn. Are you trying to get me to get the Kitty Pride to stick? I don't think the order mattered either way. Why would the order have mattered either way? Certified negative is sometimes not worth it. Bill, are you being sarcastic? I need magic to get negative juice out? Nope. I think we take 12 here, as opposed to playing the Mr. Negative early, crazily enough. Uh, I didn't have Mystique in hand. Oh, gotcha, PW. Okay, PDW, that makes a lot of sense. Uh, I guess we do this in the right order just in case they Scarlet Witch this or something. We can play Mr. Negative a turn late. It's fine. I feel there's the tiniest bit of delay, but it's barely noticeable. Probably your TV. Looks totally fine on mine. I think getting an extra Hulk is worth it. We're gonna snap. GG's. That's weird. Great web triggered before Gamma Labs. You guys know that that works? Nice shirt. Thank you. Thank you. People love this shirt. I did not know that Great Web is one of the locations that triggers uh, first for no reason. It's weird. It's really weird that like that even exists. You know what I mean? Ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -bum. Badly named location? Why is it a badly named location? Oh, because it says the Great Web. That's quite funny, Robot Eats Robots. What do you guys feel about these songs? So the songs that aren't necessarily like game music or anything, they're from someone named Ramus SB, who's uh, I'm a really big friend of. How's the zoo? Zoo is awesome. Top three animals. Uh, there was this really cool porcupine that we saw that had a big, big snoot that I wanted to boot. It was very cute. Uh, there was a zebra that was really, really chill and nice. I got to see two tawny frog mouths. If anyone doesn't know what a tawny frog mouth is, basically like a owl bird hybrid. That was really exciting. There was a red panda, but he was, he was not out. It was quite hot. The red panda wasn't, wasn't out. Honestly, honestly, great. Honestly, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful pick up there. No notes. Um, right, we can't play the Jane Foster yet, so we'll just get an Iron Man down, I suppose. Tawny Frogmouth sounds like an intel from 1700s. I went to Lincoln Park, not Brookfield. An owl bird hybrid. I guess owls are birds, but like a regular bird and an owl, you know what I mean? Look up Tawny Frogmouth, you'll, you'll know what I mean.
What are they doing? I think they're gonna play a 30 power, 30 power destroyer over here. They're gonna play a 30 power destroyer left. We have to start fighting back against it. It's a crazy thing to do, man. I don't think this is going to be enough. Seven power left. Kind of have to win it. I think they just play their biggest thing. Probably just run here. And Galactus? What do you think, like, right? They could Galactus, right? Be a pretty cool play. They do this to get ahead. I don't have any way to stop it. One of the many ways that they can beat me. So we'll just go ahead and run. I don't think they could task there, unless they had like good follow-ups. Like they could task right, and then um, they would still need. They'd still need to make sure they win left. Otherwise, they would be losing uh, middle and middle and left, or left and right. But they could have two big one drops. I think we just run there. Uh, you have to be super patient with this deck. You try and get eight cube wins when you get the main line. And you try and lose one cube a game outside of it. A very very patient deck to play. Be very, very, very patient. Uh, I do live in Chicago, yes. Where in Chicago, you will never know. I, I accept that I am very okay with being open about the fact that I do live in Chicago. I think Psylocke would be more useful in this deck. I don't think so. No. We're going to snap. We'll go Zabu into negative. Maybe play Morph Kitty and then Jane Foster on five for full fill. One, two, three, four, none your business street, Chicago. So true. What is the Josh Allen Scurry going on Skelly? Not until the Bears are out of the playoffs and only the. Uh, I guess I should have Zabu middle. That was a misplay. I definitely should have Zabu middle just to get another Hulk. Just if he feels the truth or not, nah, uh, I think he's a great player. I think that um, he's one of the best running quarterbacks uh, that the game has seen in a really long time. Uh, I'm really excited to see what he does and see how he progresses. I think that last year was really he did very very well. Given uh, a pretty pretty rough uh, thing around him, but he added uh, DJ Moore, who's in my opinion like the most underrated wide receiver in the NFL. Am I mad about the Arlington Heights move? No, I think it's probably smart. Uh, uh, the like. Soldier Field's beautiful. I, I like Soldier Field, but it's a bit um it's in a bit of a rough spot. Zabu Ray was genius, yeah. Now it looks genius. Now it looks genius. I love when I love when my opponent makes plays that make me look good. It's always my favorite. I don't know why they have Psylocke and Storm in the same deck. It's very weird. I don't know what they're cooking. What do we get? Big morph. Big morph. Yo, we got our negative. We got our Jane Foster. Thank you. Thank you. What a homie. The opponent is an insane homie. Uh, do we play around wave here? We probably play around wave, right? I think we just go psycho mode this turn.
I mean, definitely play around wave here. I think you have to play around wave with this deck if you get the opportunity. Because this deck is dumpster by wave. But uh, if we could just do this, I, I think we're going to be in a good spot. <laughs> Point the turn five, it's pretty good, yeah. <laughs> Jane Foster morph is crazy. I am Iron Man. Monkey. Casual fifty eight power left. Now this does get whooped by Enchantress, so I think we just go all in right. I think we just go all in right here. Yeah, GG's. Bit much left. Well, it's getting minus one per turn. We had to we had to cover our bases, chat. We had to cover our bases. Good job, Morph. I'm I'm a big fan of the Morph there. <laughs> I think left is safe, but it does get it does get destroyed by um it gets beat up by uh, Enchantress. I think they would need more than just Enchantress. Oh, yeah, it's safety blade, Pog. We'll go, uh, we'll go Mr. Negative on two against Safety Blade. <laughs> we'll go three cost of negative on two against Safety Blade. With the Jane Foster, it's, it's crazy. One, two, three, four, five. We have six cards to draw. All of our cards are zero. I think we're fine with playing the Jane on four, though. We're gonna Galactus mid, maybe. We have an Iron Heart, though. Iron Heart will stop Galactus mid. We can get it. Ironheart only needs one trigger to, to be Galactus Min. Also, he's running Angelus, so I don't know how he'd run that. We have to play the Thor right. Gotta draw the Ironheart here. I think we're... Oh, come on. Unbelievable, bro. Well, they can't really just Galactus this turn, right? Because, um... They can't realistically Galactus this turn. Because if they Galactus this turn, I could just drop an Iron Man. Ah, it's only like 10 power, though. I guess, I mean, if they Galactus this turn, we're, we're toast. We needed our Iron Heart. Okay, they didn't do it. Maintain priority. Yeah, okay, so we have a Sean coming right, so we need a lot of power to come out right. Beats Galactus mid, which is very important. Beats Galactus Min. It's the most important thing. We just recheck. Iron Heart right, Iron Man right. No, yes. Peak left, Dark Hawk left. I'm guessing it's Galactus Min. 
Yeah, it beats like everything. It's a lot of power. Mr. Fantastic Left should still beat it as long as two hits land middle. Like 50% of the time, two hits land middle. We could get a zero hits land middle. We could get like right middle, right and left only. On left would hurt. They still have to be 24. Yeah. Looks like they're going to be 24. Tough, man. I guess it's only 18. Yeah, I was thinking maybe I should have uh, adjusted a little bit. It's definitely expecting the Sean right. Tip Monkey more power than Darkhawk left? Uh, that wouldn't have really mattered, but I'm pretty sure it wasn't. It was 11. Uh, maybe it was 11 versus 10. Plus 3, plus 6. No, it would have been 9 versus uh, 10. That's tough. Maybe I, should, maybe I could have played around Sean left more, but I was really expecting them to Sean right. Yeah, big gamble. That's safety blade, man. Not playing safe. Monkey would have been under Sean. Was it? Was was it? Would it have been eight? Maybe. I was just expecting the Sean right, so I wasn't even thinking about Sean left. Oh, smooth off. How you doing, man? You need Dazzler on the list? Nah, you need everything to be zero cost or zero power. Very important to the to the deck. It's kind of it's it's a very weird deck to play. Um, but I watched uh, watched like a couple of Willow Willow videos. Willow, who's now a big DC Dual Force dude. Uh, I was looking at a lot of his stuff uh, about Negative Jane Foster because there's a lot of really interesting ideas around this deck. I was kind of building it more towards how he builds it. Why didn't I play the kitty? I don't know why I didn't play the kitty. It was stupid chat. R with no name. We do have Mr. Negative. They say why no magic? Uh, we just don't need magic. Like, we, I guess you play magic on like five and then try and play Jane Foster on six. You have Jane Foster, which kind of works just, just like magic. Nah, do you believe for consistency would be bad? My humble opinion. Alright, so we're not going to do our Jane Foster high roll. Ooh, we are fine with this Cosmo, because they don't have a Iron Man. They're in a lot of trouble. Go here, here, maybe, to finish. Can't mistake, man. Man, that's super stupid. You're right. But if we're only playing for three lanes, this might be better anyway. Unless they also have Iron Man, then we're in trouble. They could also be Enchantressing left. But it's weird to play Enchantress, Ant-Man, Cosmo on the same deck. I, I don't think they have Enchantress. I'm pretty sure they're an on, like an ongoing deck. So I really, really doubt they have Enchantress. Nah, this is an ongoing deck chat. I don't think they're going to have the hood. Should be enough to win. It'll be close if we're not. If we're not. Yeah, GG's. Rare one cube win with this deck. But we'll, we'll make it work. Sentry, people just be calling out any card that could possibly win, huh? Outer Wilds remix? I think so. 
Yeah, it's just called Outer Wilds by Highland and Game Chops. Look at that. Look at how much space we're going to have to make this Angela huge. What we're not going to be able to do is fill this raft. Sucks. Patriot and Sentinel in the same deck. Really weird. Patriot and Sentinel in the same deck, chat. What are they cooking? What are they cooking, chat? What are they cooking? Fast is nice here. Fast is quite nice here. Mm. Yeah, this is a chonky angel, man. Okay. What's Ultron mid look like? Looks like it's probably too big for us to beat, unfortunately. We had 16 left. And we add 12 right, 16 right, 16 left. Morph Luck. Morph Luck could go pretty hard here. Lustique will be nine, and then the Morph just has to be more than seven, or an Onslaught. I will roll the dice. Wait, no, we're, we're messing up because of Asteroid M. Uh, it's a huge throw. Huge throw, chat. Huge throw. Huge throw. Always mess up on Asteroid M. Huge throw. It would be nice if the Iron Man was enough to get us over the top middle. Having all those small cards in there does, doesn't really help. Happens to everyone, yeah. I lose the Astrodome quite a bit. Gotta take it on the nose, you know what I mean? Gotta take him on the nose. You hate the location? I don't hate the location. I think the location is um, very skill testing. It just hurts when you don't have the skill to do it right, yeah? Morph has thanks, I hated energy. Cool looking morph. It does suck that it doesn't uh it doesn't really matter what your morph does. It just kinda just kinda vibes. Not when it appears so often? I disagree. You can learn how to play play well with it though. Some players, dude, I feel like they just want runes to be all through locations. I don't ever get it. Morph looks like a reverse Iron Maiden. Hmm. Kind of. I have no way of getting middle, huh? Play Jane into Angela Kitty. We'll play Kitty into Angela Kitty. The morph. Yeah, it does suck that you can't show off your morph variants. So true. 
Those two have a space might turn this off too. There's plenty of good things that can happen here. Didn't even have to play the Kitty Pride, man. Uh, we're gonna snap. We have our perfect line. Chain Foster and Thor. Uh, as long as they don't get waved, we should be fine. Where was I yesterday? Uh, I was drunk and at the zoo. Where were you yesterday? No, I didn't see the T-Rexburg. No, no, I don't live in Tampa. I live in Chicago. Um, T-Rexburg is in the Tampa Zoo. I'm going to go see that in August. I did reach out and send several emails to them, trying to see if I can uh, get up and close, up close and personal to the bird. I don't know if they're going to let me. Might be the right call on their part, you yeah. know? Who knows? Man, they went all in, huh? Uh, if they wave here, we're crushed, but I... I don't know how they would play... I don't know why they would play a wave in this deck. That'd be crazy. The shoe build stork. What was your pitch to see the bird? I'll pay you money to let me see the bird. That was the pitch. Can the morph ever be like bad? I think the morph isn't ever that bad. Oh, I guess we play the kitty instead of the morph, right? Ah! They thought they could win with the Mr. Fantastic. This is why, chat, you just have to take your losses. Yeah, you just gotta take your you just gotta take your losses when you're facing a deck like like my deck. Like you can't reasonably expect to win this game. Even if you have a sneaky Mr. Fantastic to go middle, like look at look at my power output. When when you play someone who plays negative in the Jane Foster, always retreat. This if, if you want to learn something about this deck, you just always retreat when this happens. There's no reason to stand. You will always lose. <laughs> unless you have like some unless they somehow get like priority and you have a weird counter. Uh, you will always lose. <laughs> like how Safety Blade did it, where he basically passed the whole time and then... Like went super aggro trying to uh, win with like a Shang-Chi left. That's the, that's the only way that you can find a way to beat it. Yeah, or if you play Wave on 5. Yeah, yeah, Obviously, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, not Bishop. Bishop is a bad suggestion. Don't listen to chat. Um... You don't have hit monkey, just any small zero zero power card. You need as many zero power cards as you possibly can in the deck. Panamari Damashi Game Chops. Uh, it's an album by them. Oh, uh, this sucks. Their hit monkey replacement for this deck, any zero power card. All the zero power cards in this, just try and replace it with a small zero power card. Pretty, pretty straightforward. As far as replacements go. I just go kitty hit monkey here. Based on their deck, it doesn't look like they're gonna have too many small things to be able to work. Like White Tiger in your negative deck? This isn't a negative deck, this is a negative Jane Foster deck. Different, different. The electro is not going to be good for them, so we're gonna we're gonna snap. Yo, it's King Log, by the way, front of the show. You know I want to do it, right, Chad? 
You don't want to play this damn Galactus. Could Thor be good? Nope. You play Thor on three, Mr. Negative on four. I guess it doesn't really matter, but uh, you don't you don't you don't want that in this deck. Okay, we can no longer Galactus. Kinda sucks. You can stop them from blowing it up though, unless they have uh, Destroyer, which they very well might. We just have to try and play around that best we can. Okay, I have to play Destroyer now. Nice wave. Smart wave from the opponent. Um, they have to play Destroyer right. If they play Destroyer mid, they lose left and right. We just go here and win. Uh, we should be everything. Let's win all three lanes profit. Uh, maybe if they have... Nah, we beat Doom. Should beat everything. Destroyer right, they lose middle. Oh, wait, no. Destroyer right, we lose middle. I No, 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 this is only six. Sure, right, we tie middle, and we win tiebreaker, I'm pretty sure. Destroy it right, uh, they lose left and... No, no, destroy it middle, no, no, destroy it, we, we beat everything, we beat everything. Only Zola, right? Yeah, they, they can't run Zola in the deck that they have. Unless they're Psychos, which they could be. Also, it would have to be in their starting hand. Nice. Well played weird world game. Very well played weird world game. Why are you why are you bullying me? What's up, King One? Did you uh did you have the destroyer in hand, King Mon? So I was like I was like looking through all the possibilities and I thought destroyer was kind of your only out. But if you had been able to play it left, I would have been in some trouble, I think. But uh, just the, the monsters, the monsters location made it really, really tough. You think Weird World sucks? I love Weird World. You have to believe in Weird World. Uh, I don't really like playing uh, Hit Monkey for Psylocke personally. I'm not a huge fan of that. Yeah, I mean, they just changed all my zero cost cards to negative one. I'm very happy with that. I think this is a bad play. The morph doesn't even matter if it's a negative one. We have Onslaught Citadel. Yeah, we're going to pop off. The Electro Screwdo, yeah, it's tough. The morphed Electro is not, not ideal, for sure. Alright, they're going to play a double dinosaur right, but we should be able to beat it still. Um, Yeah, we'll go here. They shouldn't be able to beat us left. We're, we're happy with our snap. Uh, we have negative cards coming. We're, we're gonna be okay. Pretty hard to run Enchantress in a dinosaur deck. Unless we're negativing into. Oh, dude, we're we're going we're going off. Um, could they have wave? They have wave chat. It's like the only thing that he's scared of, I think, right now. Could they have wave? Could they have wave? Could they have wave? I find it hard to believe. Why do they have human torch in their deck? Oh, it's Agent 13 card. Looks like Cerebro 2 with a double dinosaur in their deck. That'd be kind of crazy. I don't think they have wave, man. Aren't our mid before Iron Man? Why wouldn't I want the Iron Man to get the triggers? Oh, because for, uh, set up for Mystique. I kind of want to try and bait them into staying. I'd rather bait them into AQs. I'm not worried about Wave. They don't have Wave. They don't have Wave. Yeah. I don't have to be worried about Wave. Card's not real.
We have three cards in deck. This will be a decent bit. We have double Onslaught Citadel coming right. I think they're going to push for right. Maybe do here. Here. Here, here. Are we scared we're not getting enough power, right? It's 11, it's like, it's like 40. I think we're fine. I want to play around everything, you know? Yeah, thank you for the cubes. Thank you. Oh, very scary. We, we still went all three lanes. Interesting idea, though, to go for the claw. I was not expecting that. I will, t I will tell you what. We could technically still win middle, I think, if we get a lot of middle triggers. Yeah, this, this is kind of like the whole cornerstone of the deck, right? Yeah, this is why you always want to take every lane. You want to win every lane by a shit ton with this deck. That's that's kind of the goal. It's a half bait castle, by the way. But this just kind of shows this is what you want to do. You want to bait them into these AQ games. We want to give your opponent, we want to give your opponent some some level of, of luck. Is this a good deck for infinite? You can climb with this deck for sure. You can. You've always been able to climb with Jane Foster negative. The problem is it's like the Hella deck. It's like a Hella deck where you're gonna probably have a negative win rate. Your win rate's probably gonna be somewhere bet somewhere around forty five percent. If you're if you're playing it well but the whole goal is to maximize your cube rate to get big wins like that bait them into these big eight cube games where they kind of get this sunk cost fallacy they're like oh okay you know we'll trick them with the claw and then you just slam down like 80 power in the final turn it's it's all about baiting people in but if you're if you're if you're bad with baiting people if you're not patient enough to take a bunch of one cube losses this deck might not be for you but you can definitely climb with this deck i think you've always been able to climb with negative jane foster it's just all about uh, playing it properly and you have to be okay with having a, a not not a positive win rate, uh, which is really hard for some people. It's really, really hard for some people to play a deck where you're not winning more than 50% of the time. Uh, and it's it's by design. You're not you're, you're supposed to not win 50% of the time because you're supposed to take these one cube losses all the time with this deck. Okay. Just to play the Hitmonkey on Warrior Island. Let's put a 2 5. Opponent snapped. I have no negative. Opponent played Kitty on 1. No negative in hand. Makes me feel like I should run. If I had Bast, maybe I stay. But I'll give him a cube. I think that one cube retreat is not a loss. It's a great mindset to have with decks like this. Great mindset to have. Not saying hello back. I'm uh, they're they're not busy talking to chat. I'm busy talking to chat. I'm paying more attention to you than my opponents. I'm sorry. All right, let me not let me not pay attention to chat. You piece. Yeah, winning winning. Uh, so we've talked about this. I've called it a raw casserole. I I call it. I I just say it's fucking raw whenever I do the two ties in a and win. Uh, we have the perfect line. We're gonna snap. Anytime you have negative Jane Foster in hand, uh, you should be snapping. I'm just trying to be a good streamer, I'm saying. Anytime you have these two cards, you snap. And you just deal with losses to wave. Uh, I think I bast. Rather than Sabu negative, I think basting is fine here. It's weird. It's weird. Because we're going to lose to wave if they're a, they're a move wave deck, which some of these are. But we're definitely going to play whatever card we draw on five with the Jane Foster. So I want a negative is better. We have this card, right? Which is going to pull, pull a bunch of cards out of our, our deck. So we're going to have enough draw either way.
It's it's weird. This deck is very weird, chat. Um, this deck is very weird. It's very different than a lot of other decks you'll face. Now we're taking a big fat L if they play Wave this turn, most likely, most likely. But hopefully we get a good payoff card like an Iron Man Darkhawk. Oh baby. Let me just go here. Um, and then we hope that they don't have Wave. If they play Wave on us, then we're in a, we're in trouble. Uh, we can just play Mystique, and hopefully that could be enough left. Yeah, tough. Really tough to, to beat these wave plays. But we just have to think about Heimdall. Oh, they only have one card in the deck. There's only six power. Man, that's tough. We don't have a single card to beat. Um, ooh. If, the, if they hadn't gotten this Asgard, we were fine. Because they could have played a 10 power here, added a bunch of power middle. Oh, unless they play there. Wait, you're right. We're expecting this and Heimdall right. Let's go, dude! Thank you, Chatter. Thank you, thank you. Uh, sp spaded. Thank you, Spaded. Thank you for calling out the Lechigi. Yeah, I, I would have completely missed that. Uh, they were smart, too. I think that the Chavez was better than the Heimdall. Uh, very, very huge call Huge call out about the uh, Lechigi. Yeah, I would have I completely missed that. Yeah, easy claps for Spaded. Very well done. No, 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 Spaded. I, I appreciate it, man. I'm uh, very cool with with people offering plays. Just just know that if you give a bad one, I do sometimes roast you publicly. It's the trade off. <laughs> oh, I appreciate you being here, Spaded. Thanks for hanging out. quite good for us. Thanks is so rude, so true. Incredibly true. That's what I'm saying. It's it's a trade-off. Because if you if you give me if you give me terrible suggestions, I will roast you publicly in front of the seven six hundred and nineteen people. Six one nine Booyaka Booyaka Any any Ray Mysterio fans in chat? What is 609? Is 609 the area code for San Diego? Is that what it is? We're gonna get Morph out here just in case they have location disruption. Yeah? Y'all, look at that. He's so smart. My Shulk, dude. Alright, so there's Shuri deck, but we can outscale a Shuri deck crazily enough. Pretty sure we can outscale a Shuri deck in the Nexus, and they shouldn't have any way of turning this off. Ray was the first wrestler I liked. I also liked uh, Ray's my the first wrestler. Yo, someone has a Ray Mysterio, Forgotten Tiger. Kind of looks like Ray Mysterio. Buyaka Buyaka six one nine Buyaka Buyaka. That's my Padre. I think is what it goes. Buyaka Buyaka six one nine Buyaka Buyaka Ray Mysterio. Look at that. Look at that, Jen. <laughs> okay, we can we can outscale Shuri, which is awesome. How many decks can outscale Shuri? Uh, no Jane Foster is a bit scary, but... Uh, we can still outscale this. Uh, let me do correct order. In case I want to use this Mystique on the Darkhawk. How does these Shuri decks have Enchantress? That's weird. Chavez ever have a place in negative? No, because your turn nine, you're then drawing a nine six, which is really bad. So you'd think like, oh, Chavez gives you a better chance of getting negative, but then on turn six, you draw an un a literally unplayable card if you play negative. 
Uh, so no, Chavez is actually actively very bad in these lists. Santino Morella? Was, was the, the... Okay, hold, hold up, hold up. Alright. <laughs> I got it. Look at that. No, Chavez becomes a 6-9, dude. Uh, you might be thinking of Peak. Uh, Peak would be the location where that would happen. Where it's, um... We're gonna lose here. Chantra's guaranteed in that deck? No, I, I disagree very wholeheartedly. I think most of these decks don't run it. It could retreat here, though. Escaped. Did you guys like the that I could do the Cobra thing? Are you impressed? I, yeah, I, I don't think Enchantress is a guarantee. I think Enchantress is very rarely run in that Shuri deck. But it could be a tech choice. There's like one spot for a tech card usually, but most people run... Uh, most people run... What do you call it? Uh, Shang-Chi right now, I would say, in that tech spot. Playing the bass and the Jane Foster is pretty rough, but need to see the mandible claw now. What's the what? That's what the sock. Um... <laughs> now, now you want to see me do a four fifty splash? We're talking about the four fifty splash, like when um... talking about the four fifty splash, like when Cody Rhodes or no uh, Evan Bourne tried to hit it on Randy Orton. But then Randy Orton turned it into an RKO from out of nowhere. I feel like I'm impressing some people right now with this knowledge. I'm here for it. Pink screams cave Insane play by the opponent. Well, they could be setting up a Wong lane, yeah. This is an insane play. The one net power Bast. Yeah, but the Jane Foster doesn't count because we're not going to play it. I think we go for this, dude. On an average, they're going to get 21 power left. We're getting six. Uh, I think if this is a... Nah, the Ironheart's going to be too much. We just run. That's the only place an RKO can come from. So true, dude. I'm sorry, I used to teach parkour and free running out of the big sports complex. Were they also wrestlers? I taught them how to do backflip to body slam thing. Backflip to body something. Is that where you have him like this and then you try and do the backflip? That looks so damn dangerous. Looks so insanely dangerous. Unless they're a Chavez deck, but I think the, the Ironheart just, just wins all day. Now, there is a chance where two land here and two land here and we went, ah, whatever, who cares. If two land, if two land middle, I think we win often. Ooh, that does not help. Play simply Enchantress. We, don't we still just win? Stinky opponent. Stinky. Ironheart goes first. It happens twice. So Ironheart will trigger, then two white tigers will trigger, and then Ironheart will trigger again. So there, there's some triggers that can land left. Stinky. Stinky opponent. Stinky, stinky. They think that as long as they enchant just the Iron Man, they simply win. Why were they running Black Widow in that deck? Can we talk about that? A wild card to be running in that deck for no reason. Yeah, WWE wrestlers get uh, beat up. Now, hopefully it's a little bit better now. The WWE has made a lot of changes to concussion protocol, made a lot of changes to try and make things safer. Uh, but I'm sure it's still a very, very dangerous sport. But uh, they used to not even give anyone... They used to not even give people health care. 
I think it's Black Widow Wave Odin. Maybe. Maybe, I, maybe I'm to blame for them running that. Remember Hardcore Holly? That was sad. The only thing I remember with Hardcore Holly is that he did a suplex through a table to someone and they forgot to take off the outer ring of the table and he had like a 10 inch incision on his back. It looked crazy. I don't know anything else about Hardcore Holly. Holly. They make they run Black Widow to make people confused when they get copied by North. Anyone have any news on compensation for weekend missions? They already gave out the compensation for weekend missions, I believe. Uh, I'm not a hundred on that, but I'm pretty sure they already gave it out. What is Bite for extra hazmat targets? Yeah, you're, that, that's a good point. Ooh, we got a Shuri. Yeah, it's a, it's a great point. I think the hazmat line is probably the, the correct answer there. Uh, I don't know. Hopefully this will be enough. Undertaker almost died twice in the span of 10 years. It makes sense. We have to play around Wave, I believe, so we have to play this this turn. Zabu also discounting Darkhawk makes it uh, really good for the deck, in my opinion, compared to Salak as well. For the person who was asking about that earlier. Ooh, do we want a single negative card? So we have either Mystique, Angela, Iron Man. All three quite good. I don't know if it's better than just Thor. Thor Magento here, though. We can surprise them with the Iron Heart as well. You're on Steam because the Steam version doesn't have functioning inbox. Yeah, yeah, very true, very true, Bane. Uh, great, great, great call. So dark, uh, dark and force. You're, you're gonna have to log in on your phone or using an emulator. Yeah, I heard that. Under didn't Undertaker and McFoley just react to like their their match? I think that's kind of cool. I don't think we want the Mister Negative. I don't think it's worth it here. Instead, we can just play like Iron Heart, Dark Hawk. Would have been a flipped Iron Man. It definitely would have been worth it. That, this was the one that was absolutely worth it. Had we played the Mr. Negative. That hurts. What do you think they're going to Shuri here? Probably the 16 Power Kitty. Play 16 Power Kitty, they'll get to 18. This should beat the 18. Uh, we'll go for it. I think we're fine here, actually. I think they're going to play the kitty middle, and we're going to get over top. Might have one left, too. I mean, it's pretty hard. Whoa, it's 20. Wow, not even close. Oh, because it was 8. I thought it was only 16, but it's 20. Tough. GG's. Even with 16, I think maybe I should have run there. I wasn't expecting them to be able to play Wasp, but and, and also I should have been expecting the zero power six cost. I never, I never, I always mess that up. This deck work on Conquest? Probably not. It's probably a really hard deck to win on Conquest. If you play someone good, they'll just uh, they'll just retreat whenever you play negative and uh, chain Foster and like push you with the uh, push you with snaps early. I think this is much more a ladder deck than a Conquest deck for sure. Uh, we get compensation. Uh, if you own Ghost Spider, I think you get a thousand tokens. And if you do not own Ghost Spider, uh, then you get like a slap on the wrist. I don't know. Um, I don't really have a, an actual answer. Uh, we'll do our skip this turn. I think we'll go Zabu Bast is the best line. Oh, this is definitely the line. And then you also get like some uh, some gold and some um, some stuff. Uh, we, we don't need another negative enabler in my opinion. Uh, so you can try it, but you want as many zero power cards as possible to do the Jane Foster line. Uh, it's what makes the deck really, really go hard. We're gonna try and win negative zone. We're gonna try and run this back. 
in the doldrums. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, bum. 200 credits. Nice. Do this in the right order. Okay, probably have Miles coming down next turn. Hampton Marvel. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum. Iron Man's all that good. Seems bad. We'll probably just run. Diamond Dallas Page, the Diamond Cutter. You guys remember when uh, he RKO'd Hulk Hogan onto the front of a limousine? That was exciting. You throw those now as a misdirection? No, we run away for one cube because we didn't get Mr. Negative. You have to be very patient with this deck. You have to take a lot of losses. You love Dudley Boy's finisher? Yeah, dude. Dudley Boy's go hard. Three, two, one, get the table or whatever. I wonder if the best is bad. I, I still don't know. I think that whenever we're playing Jane Foster, we're just winning anyway. I think the best is still good. That makes sense. You could probably be greedy and play it. Wait one more turn, though. Ah, we'll just play it now. You watch the current product? Not really. I've tried my hand at watching a little bit of AEW, but um, I just don't have the time to keep up with stuff like wrestling. It's just there's just too much going on all the time. You're a Jeff Hardy guy? Jeff Hardy rocks, dude. Cool guy. Best moment was when Triple H hit Fisk's man in the head with the bedpan. They would beat... And they would just beat the shit out of Vince McMahon all the time. Freaking hilarious. Look at how much the opponent paid for this uh, 3x value Darkhawk check. I did not like the weird room. Got in that hand, buddy. Okay. The Captain Marvel there is actually very nice. Missing our negative again. We'll just play Darkhawk right. Could be enough. If it's not, the Captain Mar Marvel can run. All good things. Hmm. Mr. Negative is not good with rocks in the deck. I don't think it's worth. They literally can't play on Vibranium or, or they just give us the win, right? It's kind of crazy. What two archetypes do you like combining together in a deck the most? I like play Jeff over here, Cheater. They can't play here. How many cards are in my deck? I have four cards in my deck. If they play the Darkhawk left, it's eight. They can move here though. They're gonna move the Jeff here. No, but they move the Jeff here, they lose right. They're kind of stuck between a rock and a hard place. Oh yeah, they don't have a hawk. Great point. So I can play there. Play middle, play middle you piece. Nice. Ooh, not nice. Bad. Captain Marvel. Win me the game. Thank you. Thank you, my queen. More for the win. More for the win. Rare Morph W. Love to see it, man. More so slept on. I'm happy I, I, I had, um, I had a different card. I had Arnim Zola in the deck instead of Morph. 
And I felt Arnim's Ola was just to win more. So I was like, oh, I want a card that I could play on three. And uh, Morph is that guy. It was Zabu in a negative. So we're snapping. Always snap with Zabu negative, always snap with negative Jane. If you're playing this deck, if you have those combinations of cards, you always snap. That'll show the opponent for buying a $30 dark card. So true. We'll play our cards middle because the Darkhawk and the Mr. Negative are the only two cards that we need to play in Clintar. Also, playing the Darkhawk middle, it'll absorb together and make a very big card. Well, maybe we don't want that then. No, we want space. Better pick on negative? Why do you say things like that? You shouldn't be allowed to say stuff like that, actually. There should, there should be a rule. Morph, Morph do be shining though. Morph do be shining so far. You're still mad you bought it? Thought it came with 10,000 credits instead of 1,000? Tough, man. Quite tough. Spoke to Snap Support. They haven't sent the compensations yet. I, th I thought that... Crazy? I'm like 90% sure I got it. Uh, I don't want to check on my phone. Sometimes it bugs me out of the game. I feel like that's incorrect, though. Could be wrong. There's a Spider-Man bundle compensation? Or you know. Uh, we probably play around Wave, even though we only know that they have Kitty. We only know that they have uh, Kitty and Lizard so far. Sean is going to be really scary uh, for Clintar, but we'll just have to deal with it as it comes. Yeah, Shadow King turns pigs into four zeros. I was using that to my advantage. There's a tech surfer list that I did a little while ago that hasn't come to a YouTube video yet, but it probably will this weekend. Uh, I'm going to try and, especially because I missed today because I slept at my buddy's place. Uh, I'm gonna have I'm gonna have videos out every day this weekend. Yeah, it's a zero zero. That's a good point. Lintar, it actually works now. Chat, look at this. Look at the Darkhawk. Look at that. All ten all ten power from the Darkhawk got added to the symbiote. It's actually really good because it means the Darkhawk won't go lower over the course of the game. Ooh, thank you for snapping opponent. Okay, so with their snapping, we have to assume right now that they are um, going to wave us. We have to make that assumption. Um, so what we're going to do is go here, here, play an eight power card here to play around Shang-Chi. And then we'll just play the Iron Man, right? Uh, but this is an eight power hit monkey, uh, which plays around them playing Shang-Chi. Uh, but I'm expecting a wave here from the opponent. Got it. Ooh, and we get their hand. That's very exciting. Let's see if they waved us. See if we made the right call here. Does not look like they're waving us. They do get the kitty back in their hand, though. They will now have two kitties in their hand. But they can't shawn us. We were expecting the shawn. Uh, but now they can no longer do that. They now have two kitties in hand, though. Uh, quite large kitties. I think we have to throw left, unfortunately. Um, and so we just aim right now to get right and middle as big as we possibly can. How does one go about that, you might ask? That's a great and wonderful question. It starts with... No, we play all of our cards first. So we'll go... Scarlet Witch is so scary. We'll just play the... Um, we can go Enchantress here, Sentinel, Ironheart, right? You know they don't have access to Sean. GG's. Very nice. 
So we played around their two biggest threats there. Um, we played around them playing Shang-Chi by playing that 8-power Hitmonkey there. Uh, and getting out ahead, even if they were going to Shang-Chi that target, we would be on top of it. Sorry, there's a giant spider. I did kill the spider. If you guys are upset about that, I'm sorry. I don't have time to take it outside. I usually try and I usually try and take care of my spider friends. That was a very large one that was inside of my place. I'd say I'm about 50-50 with killing killing spiders and taking them to safety. I'd say about 50-50. You thought I went to grab with my bare hands? What would be wrong with that? Are you a coward? Chantress cancels Hawkman. Yeah, it's no longer a hawk. No longer. Here we'll go Darkhawk left, most likely. Uh, the Lumeria with Kitty gets a little funky, but I think we should be fine. Make it work. Sometimes friends, sometimes not. Uh, I think it's just... Spiders are actually, like, generally very good for, like, humans by getting rid of other pests. I think they're pretty, pretty neat. Neat little guys. Why not Psylocke? We have Zabu. We don't need both. I think that people running both... In general, it's just, it's, I think you're overdoing it. You're adding another card that's really bad when it gets pulled with Mr. Negative uh, in order to give you a smaller chance to get Mr. Negative a turn early. So I think it usually counters each other. Um, I could be wrong though, but that's, that's what I've, that's what I've found for the most part. We're probably running here. We should be running here most likely. Let's see what they have. This could be magic. If it's magic, we're probably up against a hello deck. Larval. So this is probably a. I think we just run here. Probably an Ultron type situation. Do you have Morph for fun? No, Morph is actually really good in this deck. So first of all, it's a Jane Foster negative deck. We want as many zero power cards as possible. We want to have our, our deck absolutely flooded with zero power cards. So you'll notice we have, uh, we have eight zero power cards in our deck. But when Mr. Negative flips them, Jane Foster pretty much always gives us a full hand. That's why if you have a uh, negative and a Jane Foster, you pretty much always snap because you just you have a crazy full hand of uh, powerful cards. Uh, but why the morph is really good is that sometimes you have Mr. Negative on four and you don't pull the Zabu. And then you're totally okay with just playing the morph on three as just a pretty strong card. I, w I would say it's actually quite really good in this deck. Um, I wouldn't call it a meme. It is running Psylocke in an um, Electro Ramp. I think it's. I think if you're using Psylocke, you're too low tempo for it to really be that good. But I personally think it's kind of a throw. That was a wonderful bast. I think it's. A, I think it's a bit of a throw to do it. We're snapping. We have Mr. Negative and his Jane Foster, our best play. Yeah, just, just Wave and Electro is totally fine. Now, if you're missing Wave or Electro and you want to try and run Ramp, you can try Psylocke, but I think that uh, you kind of just unlock Ramp once you get Wave and Electro, which can kind of suck, but... Turns of Cosmos is fine for us. This is why Morph is good, right? It's just a proactive turn three play. There's very rare. Plus, it has three power, which is very exciting. That was a joke. I'm scared that they're going to do some lockdown shenanigans. We're going to have to fill this. We're going to fill this early as hell. We're just going to go negative and Thor all middle. 
It's gonna look stupid, but I think it's the correct play. Hmm. Now we probably don't. We just accept that a Professor X is coming. Wherever the Professor X lands, we're probably kind of okay with it. Uh, I mean, we couldn't. We go here. Let's go here. If they Professor X left, um, if we see Professor X come down left, then we win right with all of our very powerful zero cost cards. We pull Angela Darkhawk. Uh, play, play like Angela Darkhawk Iron Man. All right. Uh, if they Professor X right, then we beat out this with uh, a foray of cards. I think this is the play. They might snap here, but I think we beat Professor X in any location. Professor X left sucks the most because uh, if they have a big enough card to win middle, which is not impossible, but we're going to be at 17, they're going to be at 3. Yeah, Professor X right. Okay. Uh, hello? Game? Now we can play the Dark, the Iron Heart. To give us a little bit of extra juice here. Hmm. This, by the way, this Morph Luke Cage kind of crazy with the Soul Stone. Saw a comment on one of Dex's recent videos. Is it a recent video? Or was it the one where we uh, worked together on? Because I've seen the one where they called it, uh, called me a bigot in one of my recent, and one of the one where we worked together on. I think we have to Iron Heart. It, do it doesn't feel great. I think we have to Ironheart, because if they have like a dinosaur, we just lose right, or lose middle. Sucks, but I think we have to. If they play big card left, we might lose. Yeah, very nice, very nice. Well, we're supposed to Ironheart first, actually. This could, this has a very small chance of us losing. Very scary. GG's. We're supposed to Angela, Ironheart, Darkhawk. We're supposed to do a different order. Yeah, I think we had the Iron Heart there. It's a hard hard call to make, but we, we have to worry about Dinosaur. I don't think we Iron Heart first. I think we do it after Angel. I also don't understand how anyone can consider me a bigot. I think they probably got mad because I like hid them or they were being like annoying, so I hid them on YouTube. It's usually people who do that. J Negative is so smart. It's it's a hard deck to play. It's very, very high skill cap deck, I think. Uh, the skill cap mostly comes from snaps. When to snap, when to retreat. You, you have to be very, very smart about it. Just throw Kitty through the deck, maybe get a negative. Is it bigot towards Quicksilver players? I thought that that was uh, the, the Quantum Tunnel. I'm not going to lie to you. Anyone else always mess up Quantum Tunnel? Just me. Uh, no, Wolfsbane originally in the beta did not trigger on unflipped cards. Yeah, what up, Loopy? Loopy punches in chat? If anyone's got Loopy punches, throw them out. How you doing, my dude? I don't know what to do here. I'm panicking, chat. Mystique and Dark Dimension? That's an interesting idea, Mickey boy. Probably was better. Get the Zabu out of there.
What you been up to, Loopy? Any, anything new, exciting? You've been you've been taking on Infinite Conquest at all? Or are you a sane person? I think we go like because right, we kind of want an Iron Man. Maybe we go Kitty left here. We run. Probably run, right? Let's be let's be keep responsible. Spider Man worth it? Spider Man's great, yeah. I think Spider Man's insanely good. You're gonna try Infinite Conquest tonight? Yo, if y'all aren't doing anything, man, go follow go follow Loopy Fest, go check him out. If you can win Infinite Conquest tonight. Uh I cannot recommend anyone try Infinite Conquest. I'm so happy I got it in the first try. I don't if I would have lost, um, if I would have lost in round five, I don't know if I would have ever played the game again. <laughs> yeah, I'm really bad with, I, I don't, <laughs> chat, I'm, people who have been around for a while know this. I'm really bad with like keeping up or like understanding how to min-max the economy in this game. I just don't, I also don't get stressed easily, Loopy Fist, that's the problem. Uh, so there's there's plenty of other really good content creators who make uh, dude. It was it was really bad It was really bad, dude. It took like six months off of my life And I was and I was very lucky and, and was able to get on my first try. I don't think I'm good enough to Consistently win infinite conquest. I Really don't think I really don't think I'm good enough to consistently win infinite conquest. I think on average it would probably take me like eight tries to do it. Um, but uh, we, we got the one that matters. Um, been having a very hard time drawing our cards. We're gonna have to run it to together and handle stress, dude. Should be DM, man. That'd be a lot of fun. I'd be uh, I'd be super super down to uh, to do that tonight. Darkhawk last so you can mystique the Darkhawk, maybe? And we've got like mystique hit monkey pre pre kitty at the end? He makes that again, dude, I'm saying, man. I'll never forget your Psycho Negasonic plays, man. They live in my head rent free. That was a fun game mode. I like the variant reward, but an infinite border around your avatar isn't worth it. I mean, do you see how beautiful my avatar is right now? You see how you see how gorgeous my avatar is up here on the top right? It's way more flashy than my opponents. Also, as a content creator, I've been thinking about this. I think it's quite funny. As a content creator, I kind of like that now if someone wants to impersonate me, they have to they have to win a leader. They have to win a leader infinite border to truly impersonate me. Because I'm gonna do this leader infinite border on every single deck I ever play from now on. So now, if someone wants to impersonate me and be and try and be Binks on ladder, now they have to win an infinite conquest. If they do that, then then you know, so be it. Okay, Mystique is nine. Hey, Monkey seven. Gets us over the top middle by a little bit. I wonder if I want to be a top by a bit more than that. I like this. I think this is actually quite a strong play. I think we actually win here without the the Mr. Negative, which is pretty tough, man. Someone's gonna do that, nah? You know what your goal is? Get out of here, bro. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is the 14 power. Um... I think we're winning here most of the time. This has to be more than nine. I just don't see that happening, right? 
Let's go. Nice win there. Nice win there. Only two cubes, but uh, kind of have to go low stakes. We're pretty much only snapping with uh, negative in hand. Spooky Sean, what is, it was a 25 power Sean. Pretty good. Got four tickets for infinite. If I get it, I get it. If nothing, oh well. That's how I feel about it. I I wish the best of luck. I wish the best of luck. I'm not gonna. I'm, I mean, uh, if Luby wants to, to mess around and find some time, we could do it. Like I said, hit me in the DMs. We'll we'll see if we can do something. Uh, but um, I'm definitely not gonna touch it until next month. I think I'm gonna do it like once a month. Yeah, GG's JJ. Uh, were you the were you the deck I just faced that shone all my cards like a meanie, a mean person? It's negative on three. It's pretty good. Four tickets, you should def win at least one of them. Base Toby, I don't know if you know this, but there are five rounds in negative con in Infinite Conquest. Every round, there's one winner and one loser. By that math, if you're an if you're an average player, one one out of thirty two runs makes it to the finish line. One out of thirty two runs makes it to the finish line. Base Toby. So if you consider yourself a very good player, maybe maybe you'd hope so. But uh, I feel like people really. Like, they see a bunch of people on, like, Twitter and, like, people who play all the time, like, getting it. It's not, a very not easy thing to, to, to do. It's very not good. I do, I don't think that I will ever get it on the first try again. I think it'll take me many, many tries if I do it again. Oh, if that hit the negative, I would cry. But Basting their Scorpion feels great. No Miniaturized Lab is dumb. I should have played the best there, probably. My favorite candy? This is my favorite candy. Uh, I like Reese's a lot. Ooh, if they don't Jane Foster this turn, or Morph could hit Jane Foster. That's pretty exciting. Morph Jane Foster chat? Morph Jane Foster one time. They could play it this turn, though. Okay, they either get a Darkhawk or an Iron Man. Morph Jane Foster one time. No, we have an Odin coming. Either just play the Darkhawk or the Iron Man. Hold our worth Mr. Worst Mr. Negative draw. I think we can play the Darkhawk out here pretty pretty happily. I don't think we I don't think it's worth it to play the Zabu KD this turn. Never gonna beat Infinite Conquest? Um I mean that's that I, I wouldn't say that. I think with enough tries, it'd be almost impossible for you not to. It's very hard though. It's very hard. I, I got really lucky. I got a DC my second game, so I only had to win four. Uh, only having to win four made it a lot, a lot easier. Uh, this is hard for them to beat us, right? You know if they Mjolnir Odin, they add 12. Wait. They're gonna Mjolnir Odin. They're gonna Mjolnir Odin. Mjolnir Odin gets this to... Maybe I give here. They're gonna Mjolnir Odin. We win with this all, all day. They're gonna think that Mjolnir Odin's enough, but it's not. We're gonna 18 right. Yeah. Nice Mjolnir Odin, you piece. Very well played. Very well played, top to bottom. Only winning four makes it exactly 20% easier. Um. It makes it twice as easy, right? It makes it twice as easy, right? I, I don't know. I, if you consider each one like a 50-50, you 
you consider each one like a 50 50 then it makes it twice as easy right is one in 16 to win four one in 32 to win five it makes it twice as easy I but it depends if if, if you're considering that you win 50 percent of your your fights right that was a really 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 well played game by me calling out that mule your Odin and and giving up middle was very important thank you for the cube so way Yeah, 20 games a day is not casual, for sure, I would say. Like, Twitch chat also puts unrealistic pressure on trust. Yeah, well, I mean, you, you know, people look at, like, Twitter, right? And, like, see all these people, um... Look at Twitter and they'll see all these people who've, who've, who've made it and it makes it seem like it's, like, super easy. Tree Slap Kitty goes pretty crazy. Hey, maybe 10 games a day probably closer to casual level 70 games of 70 games a week 70 games a week if you're what like four minutes a game on average you're looking at like 280 minutes like four hours a week thanks is it true that you're gonna stream with pewdiepie uh sure i don't know i don't know where you heard that but i'm, I'm kind of down i would stream with pewdiepie if you would allow me Where'd you hear that? Then PewDiePie quit content creating? Yeah, I think that's true. I would still play with him though if you wanted. So we can pretty much win with Big Kitty wherever. Oh, is this some? Is this the weird hood bounce deck? I think they're gonna play Beast. I think we're gonna expect a Beast here. Galactus? Four cards in the deck? This is eight. Oh, no, the Galactus is 14. Sheesh. I have to play the kitty right. Oh no, chat. Chat, they're gonna Galactus me! No! Oh, it's a 60 power Hobgoblin. Kinda scary. work it does work oh it doesn't work the way i thought it did i i was pretty sure this is what was gonna happen cherry's lab is weird it it goes at there's a lot of locations will go after but this is after you play a card here chat this is an important thing to to this is a per, an important distinction because i said after you play a card here galactus is on reveal triggers first and then he will double important if you're trying to play this turn five galactus or turn six galactus deck very important thing to, to, to think about. Um, I mean, I wouldn't call it my Galactus list. I think I was one of the first people to really push that turn six Galactus, but there's lots of different versions. Uh, it seemed kind of similar, except with the hood. I've been trying to get out of the habit of calling decks my decks. I think that it's just like not super genu genuine, just based on how deck building goes in this game. I've been trying to push away from it. I appreciate you calling it mine. I knew it was turn five. Oh, I guess they, they didn't have any ramp, huh? <laughs> I always do think that people can just play Galactus when they're not allowed to. I do I do it quite a, quite a bit. Thanks for the hell, huh?
The card effect is always going to trigger before the location. Uh, so that's that's true, Strike 7 through 328. But if there's a location like Atlantis, where it says if you have one card here, plus five power, that plus five power gets added to the Galactus before his unreveal triggers. Or if it's like a plus one power to all cards here, if it's a negative zone, all those actually interact with the Galactus before his unreveal happens. So that's the biggest difference, Strike. Uh, is, is that is how those those cards get triggered. It's uh it's it's interesting how, how things like that work with Galactus. I had to I had to work through a lot of that when I was playing turn six Galactus. Even pre and pre and post nerf. Three nine dude, dude, this the the is Morph just really good right now? I wonder if Morph is just like really good right now. Is that decent with my cam and mic? There shouldn't be at all. What's coming first? Is it the sound or is it the is like my sound coming out first or is my mic coming out first? Hopefully this doesn't hit Ella. Yeah, it seems very synced. Ah, son of a bitch. Clap my hands this is what I do when I do this. Clapping is just loud. Thank you for Mr. Negativing. Oh, I guess they Mr. Negative their own deck. That's quite funny. It's a very funny idea. It does work quite well. That seems slightly off. Mouth moves first. Maybe it's so caught up because I have um I have a uh I have a delay set on my quadcast. How does this look? Uh people who are saying that does this look any better? I lowered the amount of uh, audio delay. Yeah, some people are saying no, no decent kids shit internet. All fine here. Well, if people are saying no desync, does this seem slightly worse or does it seem slightly better? They changed the desync by 0.7 seconds. Yeah, I've noticed that too. If you're using like some some like TVs, like Chromecast, sometimes like does some does some stuff. Then better, looks way better. Yo, perfect. It's perfect. Yo, love that, dude. I used to have to have. Um, I don't know what was happening. I think it was my my previous um, computer. Uh, I used to have to have a quarter second delay to have the camera camera catch up. It snapped on turn one. Uh, I'll leave. No Zabu, no negative, no Jane. Angela Morph. Maybe if we had Kitty, we would we would stick through. Kitty or Basque, maybe we stick through there. But if not, we'll give him a cube. We'll give him a we'll give him a cheeky cube there. Enjoy your cube, sir. And my girlfriend's getting home. I should probably. This door isn't locked. What if that was like perfect timing? I just heard something down the stairwell. What if I just opened the door perfectly for her to come in? Would that make me look awesome, chat? Would you guys be impressed? Let's play the deck first time. Uh, Mr. Negative with the turn three peak. Blackstar says, what do you think of 2099? I think he's fun, but not good. Yeah, my, my recommendation for 2099, I don't think it's a card that's worth buying. However, um, I do think that 2099 is a, a very good card if you're, if you like love Yeah, inter yeah, internet wouldn't cause it, but there, there's things like Bluetooth headphones and stuff like that 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 would cause it. So I, I understand where they were coming from. But you're right; it's just, it's just internet itself that shouldn't give uh, desyncs from audio and video. It's a it's a really good point. Um, I think 2099. If you're a move fanatic, like if you're a molt or molt enjoyer that really loves running move decks, 
Uh, I think 2099 is great because just a cool tool for you to build move decks with 2099. But I think if you're a, mo a big movement enjoyer, this is the same thing I had for Master Mold. Like when people are saying like, oh, is Master Mold worth it? If you love Ronin decks and you want to have the best Ronin deck, then yeah, get Master Mold because I think he belongs in Ronin decks. Um, aw. I was going to miss your negative there. You think it should be every new location if he's four cost? I don't think it would. I think that it would matter much less than people think if they made that change. Uh, I also think that he's a four six. Uh, so he's a premium statted card. I don't think it needs to be crazy. Dude, I feel I, I was in Bolt stream um, yesterday and he, he, he seemed to have, be having a really, really good time and, and really loving the game. I agree. I, I think that Bolt, uh, Bolt definitely deals with some burnout in this game. Um, which can be pretty tough. It's hard for everyone, but uh, I was actually really, really happy. I was uh, I was watching Molt uh, yesterday morning. Yesterday morning, I was I was making sandwiches for me and the boys. I made a bunch of sandwiches for me and the boys to uh, to eat on our way to the zoo. It was very cute. And um, We uh, we'll, we'll clear this uh, clear this bast out of the way here, and uh, I was watching Molt, and he, he seemed like he was having a really really fun time playing the game, playing some like cool move decks, and he was in like a really good vibe. It made me very happy to see. Is it worth it to negative on four? It's always worth it to negative on four. It's worth it to negative on four. Literally one hundred out of one hundred games. Grilled cheese sandwich? No, it's made. <laughs> I get it. No, I made uh, roast beef with QP mayo on ciabatta bread. That was very, very delicious. Very, very good chat. I think they're gonna try and Sean my Angela, so I'm not gonna play another card right, as stupid as that looks. We're not gonna play another card right? Oh wait, uh, we have pro they, they have priority, Never mind. I don't have to worry about that. Um, they could Sean middle though. If they Sean middle, are we always losing? Uh, so that it was a Costco ciabatta bread. Uh, I used a four cheese blend and I melted it. I toasted the ciabatta bread and then I, I melted a four cheese blend on it. And then I used uh, uh, roast beef and QP mayo. And then there's this uh, butcher's blend that I used in the QP mayo. It was really, really good. Okay. If they play Sean here, they go to 16. We beat that with Iron Man Kitty. I think they're gonna uh, Sean this. And we're gonna win anyway. That's the plan anyway. And then we'll add three, nine, eleven. Right. Uh, I think this wins. I think they're gonna Sean middle and think that they're gonna have enough to win. Are you guys impressed by my play chat? Can you guys tell me that you think I'm good? Because I made a very impressive play. Sounds like a good ass sandwich. Yeah, so the butcher blend, it's like a mix of parsley garlic and black pepper and a little bit of salt and i use that uh with the mayo to to give it like a nice uh a smart and handsome so true i feel like um that's that's an important line to find uh is if they're gonna sean how can we win dealing with their sean and a lot of times uh you can outplay them by overcompensating for a sean in a, in a really cool way what's up Brittany? how you been You play this game, right? I believe I rated you one time. Or maybe you rated me? Am I crazy, Brittany? Do, do, you, play, do, you, do you stream this game a little bit? QP Mayo is goaded. I don't use anything else ever. You did bring me once? Yeah, what's up? I remember I had a fun time. Uh, I, I hung out and watched your stream for quite a bit. You, you had a really good time. You still streaming? Yubi mayo is a Japanese mayo, and the difference between regular mayo and this mayo is that it's made with only egg yolk. 
So as opposed to having egg white and egg yolk, it only has egg yolk. Um, I don't really want to... I don't want Angela anywhere, honestly, but I guess we'll go middle. Maybe we'll go right. Right with it. Uh, Goose is very annoying. Uh, we can land our Darkhawk right, at least. A lot of these things are quite annoying. Uh, not being able to play Iron Man really sucks. You've been no lifing Diablo, but you still tune in to get my Marvel Snap fix? Yeah, I'm really happy to hear that. I'm, I'm glad that you enjoy. Big card. Mbaku! Yo, it's C2. Got a C2 enjoyer. Uh, I mean, we're in a lot of trouble. If I'm, if I'm, if I'm keeping it real with y'all, we're in a lot of trouble here. We're probably running if they, they give us anything. You need the last song? Let me see if I can pull up the queue for you. Help ease your mind. The previous song was Avalanche from uh, Avalanche uh, theme from. That was the Avalanche theme from Final Fantasy. If that means anything. You know. Okay. Yeah, I think we're mystiquing the Darkhawk here, but it's just like, I mean, this is not good chat. I'm keeping it real with you, we're, we're not, straight up not having a good time right now. It's on my Mount Rushmore for TV shows. Uh, it's always sunny in Philadelphia. I don't think I have to think too much about that. I think, I, I think I'm always throwing always sunny in there. Um... What is going on? Why don't they double? Why aren't they doubling their Cerebro? Wait, we can win. As long as we don't make something bigger than two here, they can't win. <laughs> Yo, we're gonna, this is crazy. Their Cerebro doesn't work. It's only gonna work middle. Uh, if they blew Marvel, they get three, I think. They can't play Marvel! Dude, we win! Well, dude, they screwed themselves! Their Cerebro Mystique, uh, I think only lands middle? I'm fairly certain sometimes Monster Metropolis has some weird things. Yeah, GG's. Um... I didn't watch the one last night. Hopefully I like it. Goose is annoyed. Yeah, Goose annoyed the hell of us there. We, we snagged two we snagged two cubes. Okay, so Always Sunny in Philadelphia is up there. Game of Thrones is probably close to getting a slot. I don't know if I don't know if it's a <laughs> close. I don't watch Baking Brad and I'm a chemistry major, isn't that weird? adventure time there all right my, my girlfriend is gone one sec You guys see the chat? Did you guys see the chat message from my girlfriend? Okay, they're good now. 
I actually, I actually opened up the back door for you. I was trying, I was trying to care. Uh, so I'd probably put Adventure Time up there. I, I like, I have a lot of like really big feelings for Adventure Time from um, uh, when I was younger. We're gonna try and Kitty Pride at the very final turn on Cloning Vets or on, on turn five. Um. I don't know, man. I, I like I literally can't even think about what I, what, I, what else I would put up there. But like like shows that really like had a huge impact on me. I think Seinfeld is good, but uh, I don't think it I don't think it lands at the top for me. Make another bigger hit monkey. Actually, actually, kind of like playing another. Uh, several extra iron hearts. Seems very good. You're just trying to key in negative deck? Sounds terrible. But you're welcome to try. Uh, yeah, I've, tr I've tried Breaking Bad a couple of times, but, but I never went through. Uh, I know better, better Call Saul. Game of Thrones might make its way up there, too. I think I mentioned that before. Even though the, the last season was so rough, uh, I think that the first... I, mean, I think the first seven seasons. Avatar might be up there too. Avatar might be up there too. I think that a lot of people kind of dismiss Game of Thrones because of the last season and they don't respect that the first seven seasons were like some of the best TV that's ever been made. It's just, it's tough. Oh no. My poor kitty. The Wire, I've never seen The Wire. Says hi, chat. What's up, baby girl? How you doing? Got Take any news? An hour to get home. Took an hour to get home, chat. That's crazy. Stupid ne Netflix. NASCAR. Oh, there is NASCAR. There's NASCAR in Chicago. This can uh, and brew all week. Tours so far. Tours are Do you know any friends that? Uh, do we know any friends that live close to there? Do you think that we can see it from her apartment? We should go and, we should go and try and go. ask her. I mean, we're not going to get to ride the cars. You jump on one. You... Uh, she's not wrong, chat. She's not wrong. <laughs> she's, in fact, not wrong with Who that. Who thinks that I should jump on a NASCAR car? Who thinks that my girlfriend should jump on a NASCAR car? I'm going to go really fast. Turn left, go fast. It's actually, it's it's uh, not just a turn left race. It's kind of cool. I think it's like kind of like a, um, it's more like a, a F1 style race where they go all, all sorts of different directions. Yeah, it's crazy. I've, I've never heard about anything, but it is destroying traffic, apparently. Apparently the traffic's gonna be the worst. The maybe, you should, maybe you should try and um, do public transport tomorrow. If you can. I don't think I was I mean, I will, but I, I, I get it if you don't want to. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah, I mean, I, I agree with that. Uh, so. So it wouldn't be bad if, like, I'll train boss. I'm gonna drive a NASCAR that we in full. Uh, no, no OTAs today. Uh, the next patch is going to be. Um, the next patch is going to be. On July 11th. So it's really cool. Second Dinner is taking, I think, this whole upcoming week. I think they're taking the entire upcoming week off. Uh, for their, they, they, they take like everyone on a paid vacation for a whole week. It's really cool. Did you see Frankie Muniz became a legit NASCAR driver? Was it actual NASCAR? I don't think it was actual NASCAR. I thought he Formula One. Yeah, I thought it was, I thought it was something different. You friggin' lying to me, chat? You peace? After he sold of his olive oil business? You guys sound like you're making stuff up. No, he did. He had no. I know too much about Why do you know so much about Frankie Muniz? Well. Babe, don't dox yourself. 
How old I am. Ah, this is like the only card I couldn't draw, chat. The only card that that if I drew it would be really bad there. Yo! It's Z. Z to the triple E3. Do you like that? What up, Z? Thank you, Z Raiders. I appreciate you all. Got any news? Anything exciting happening today? Stumbled into a Miami Vice stream. You like the shirt? I like the shirt too. <laughs> Very soft. My girlfriend says it's soft. If you guys are wondering how it felt. I know a lot of you were wondering how it felt, so. There you go. Okay, I can't put another thing that can get shawned here because it's way too dangerous. Do you play around wave? Oh, look, most kitty ducks can't run wave, right? I don't think we have to play around wave here. It, it this does this do be looking like a kingpin shirt. He's not wrong. Boop, boop, boop. Why is anyone trying to win the raft? We couldn't last turn because of pet mansion. And then um well, this is Westview, and then this turned into pet mansion on four, so neither of us were able to. We weren't allowed to do such a thing. Oh, they armored my red skull for me. Was incredibly kind of them. There's no way they go for this, right? They can't shawn every lane. They can only shawn one. You can only show on one lane chat. We have a flipped Iron Man. As always chat, let this be a lesson to you. Just, just don't, don't stay in a game when someone plays Mr. Negative on one. There's simply no reason to do such a thing. There's simply no reason to do such a thing. I could do a kingpin cosplay, but my head's too big. Kingpin, like I, I think I have the shoulders to be kingpin. But my head's too far too big. My head's appropriately sized for my large shoulders. He wanted to bait me. Uh, look how that turned out. He got absolutely eviscerated, <laughs> like <laughs> a lot of points in every lane. <laughs> you just if if someone plays Mr. Negative on turn one, just uh, just just retreat. <laughs> it's really easy. You just run regardless of negative is played? I gotta be, gotta be, gotta hold tighter than that. You gotta hold tighter than that. I don't, <laughs> I don't believe you. Well, you probably should have. <laughs> I played Mr. Negative on turn one. It's a really good card when it, when it's played on turn one and you get to draw five, uh, five insanely overpowered cards. Okay. Um. Funky. I kind of want to play Morph left next turn. How many subs to shave my head? Um, well, you can't sub, so there's that. I should probably start making money off of Twitch, but still haven't yet. I still get no ads. <laughs> I'm a bitch. <laughs> it's not a great... <laughs> Morph, you've been doing really great for me recently. It's not your finest hour, my dude. Take my money, I'm saying, dude. Iron Man into Zola? It's not even that strong though. Maybe you're right though. 
The Zola's gonna like trigger again. I don't know, man. Wanna give him an Iron Man? I don't, what do you what do you want me to do, Chad? I am Iron Man. Your piece? Like Iron Man and Azola only specifically worked at this lane of middle. But we were quite alright giving them a cube. Oh no, no, it's it's fine. I mean, I think that was my, maybe my best play. Uh, that was probably my best play, some guy. Um, but it's just the Iron Man had to land middle. It's a 50-50. Venom goes hard here. It really doesn't. <laughs> really, it surely, surely does not. I'm gonna guess that was a joke. <laughs> I would hope that that was a joke. Take the shirt. Thank you. Uh, do you think Lockjaw is a problem? I mean, they already nerfed Lockjaw. I don't know how they would nerf Lockjaw anymore. May make him a 4-3, potentially. But uh, Lockjaw's a tough card to, to figure out. Lockjaw's a really tough card to figure out. I mean, do you, I don't know if anyone remembers, but when Lockjaw was initially nerfed, a lot of people were saying the card was dead. A lot of people were saying, oh, the card's dead. They destroyed Lockjaw. They ruined Lockjaw. Nope. They did not. In some ways, they actually made it stronger. But... Uh, yeah, in, in, in some specific instances, the, the Lockjaw is really good. They did make Lockjaw less ridiculous in uh, the Thanos matchup, which the card was just absolutely insane. Lockjaw decks became strong after Ham was released. Lockjaw decks were already tier 1 uh, before Ham was released. Make it only work once, then why wouldn't you just run? I don't think, I think that's bad. I think that would be very bad for the game. I think you can make him a four cost and it makes a uh, make it like a four three. It makes it a lot better. Yeah, I remember there was a game where I played against the Thanos deck that uh, it developed forty power out of a Lockjaw on turn on the final turn. They played Lockjaw on three stones, uh, and I had like thirty six power in a location, and they they got forty out of that. And it was just like, all right, man. Like, what, I don't... Okay, dude. <laughs> you know, I was like, what, what do you want me to do, man? They're with the Thanos deck and they hit that on. Yeah, I think that's probably fair. Next turn we can go Kitty Best Hit Monkey. Alright. Maybe just Bast this turn then. Maybe you don't have to maybe don't have to push this hit monkey too early. Uh if we top deck negative, we're gonna feel a little bad. But it doesn't matter, we're never playing Jane Foster anyway, right? Because, uh, Dream Dimension. They're stronger now. I don't think that the Spider Ham is what put Lockjaw over the, the edge, but... Maybe you're right. Uh, we'll just get... Uh, we get the Lockjaw down next, or we get the Starcock down next turn. This turn we can, uh... Go Morph... Morph Kitty. Then Darkhawk, and then figure it out the final turn. Try and get a super hit monkey. How dare they not play Goblin, right? I'm saying. Uh, it's a fake one? Okay. Very funny. Good to know you have Heimdall on the deck. Uh, Morph? Morph actually just really good right now. Is more, I think Morph might just be really underrated after playing him a decent bit today. I think I think people are just like underselling this card. Morph, Morph seems crazy right now. I feel like Morph on, has been on average like a 3-7. For, for us, which is just, it's nuts with no downside and information. You know what I should do? Now that Howard is out, I should do another um, I See Everything deck with Uatu and all the cards that give you information in the whole game. I had a lot of fun with that. Iron Fist says, get the hell out of here, bro. What are you doing over here? Okay. Hmm, how do we beat Heimdall? 
They hind all left, they get to 20. Uh, this beats them if they hind all mid, because we are going to get to 15. So they hind all mid, this wins. If they hind all right, they push Jeff and Cyclops. They had 7, they get to 15. We also get to 15. Uh, we beat right with the hit monkey, we beat middle. Uh, this always beats Heimdall, and they're a movement player, so they're going to play Heimdall. They didn't play Heimdall, chat. Eaters. They're a high E deck? What the hell? Is that allowed? Are they allowed to play high evolutionary? What is where where did that come from? <laughs> can I get can I can I get cause was anyone in chat have expected high evolutionary cards to come down that turn? That was crazy. That was so surprising. You love morph until he gets a sentry, that's fine. And you get it oh, until he gets a sentry, not a sentinel. I that was so surprising of a final turn. They did not have Cyclops. That was a fake Cyclops from Camp Lehigh. If you're not playing HE, you're not one of the cool guys. And you know what sucks? I had the same problem with Thanos. Is that I just have such an uh, like an allergy to playing the best decks. That like there's like a cool deck building card like uh there's a cool like build around card like HE and I just never never play it anymore. I never think to play it just because it's too good. That's your conquest deck? Yeah, I evil move hybrid? <laughs> that was that was crazy, dude. That was crazy. Um Sick. I don't know what we put middle though. Maybe our Darkhawk? Air flip Darkhawk goes middle. We are going to get into the negatives, though, which they might not be able to do. Probably a Marvel Snap Hipster. I do that a lot. What's up, IMDU? How you been? Thanks for coming through. Good to see you. I do. you've been watching me for... What, at least seven months? Why did they not play the hood, right? They must be storming then, huh? They must be storming. You just like pass? Why not just make an off any issue deck? Cause it's hard, dude. Things are hard. Yeah. Messy. I kind of want to pass. Feels bad. Or maybe I go Darkhawk Mystique. And they're only going to have one card that can beat the Darkhawk, which is their HE Hulk. Easy. snapped up. Ooh, maybe the best is better here. I oh, would just play the Iron Man. Oh, I'm just playing. They have to storm this turn, basically. Otherwise, they're not going to be able to win middle or left. I don't think I can play that greedy, because what am I just playing the Iron Man next turn if I play the best? And then I can't really play any cards to jam up everything? Yeah, storm, storm coming here, but then. Whoa! Very insidious line from the opponent. I <laughs> look at my hand, dude. None of my cards do anything. They have to go here, here. Nah, we lose to Wasp. We get wrecked by Wasp. 
Play Wasp, H.E. Hulk. We always lose. Damn. That Viper was such a crazy play. The Misty Knight could also have us lose here. This Misty Knight could also hit one of these cards and we just lose on the spot. Well played by the opponent. That was a very good line they found. Damn impressed. If I had a stat stick, like if I had um, if I had like a morph, uh, or if I had like a stronger flip card, like an Ironheart. Ironheart's a bit risky. Ironheart's incredibly risky. Actually, I probably couldn't play Ironheart. But I don't know what I could have drawn there. I think we were just in a lot of trouble. You would have loved to see what they would have done left. They would have played Wasp left and Ichi Hulk middle. And then I don't, we have no way of beating that. I can tell you what they were going to play. Don't you worry, your sweet little hen. Since July of beta? Yo, it's almost a whole year, man. Very exciting. Appreciate the long-term support. It means a lot. I do remember you gave me the idea for uh, my Electroyer list. It was one of the very few decks that I actually never made a YouTube video out of. Uh, because Destroyer got nerfed like two days later, I think? Something like that? If I remember, remember correctly? I kind of want to snap. I have a Bastard Iron Man for cloning vats later. We're going to get really far ahead on Kiln. And we don't have any of our really good cards, but I, I want to snap anyway. Every time this song plays, I'm wondering if you're playing Agatha. I did get destroyed by the... Okay, I'm happy I snap because they're playing bad cards in their deck. Bum, 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 bum. Uh, Destroyer was a... Destroyer was 16 power? Ouch! Is that allowed? We still win. They're gonna iron heart it, and they're not gonna expect that. It's okay, we'll win eight cubes. No. I did not know this card exists, but kind of kind of a fire variant. I have to play this first to make sure I get the hit here. Are they going to Hella? Like, I want to play the Mystique, but if I play Mystique Ironheart, there's so many fails. And also, that's just that's just really, really weak. So Ironheart here, this goes to 14. Enough, man. I go here, here, too. This will be enough though. Kitty left? No, I think Kitty left is we just we could lose middle very easily. We wanna try and try and fight for all three lanes. Okay. I'm no longer scared, chat. I literally don't understand this because we know they have a Nikia in their hand, right? Or they discarded with Hellcow. It must have been a bot or something, right? That was very weird. By the way, we're at 147. What happened? Have we just been winning, like, a lot? We're plus 43 cubes right now. Holy shit, dude. We're 1.23 cubes per game right now. Wow. 21 and 14. Yeah, it felt like a bot. That was very weird. How was that bishop even... Oh, it was Nakia. Yeah, I have no idea what their deck was. Their deck didn't make any sense. They played Nakia, Hellcow. Uh, none of those cards made any sense. Gone. Oh, it would have been like a 10 power play. Yeah, but it could have been kind of scary how it would have lined up, right? We just had to make sure that we were on top of it. Because if they win right, then we have to make sure we're winning middle and left. Which is why I think that we have to play... Because if... if like, so let's say we played the... 
Kitty left, like someone suggested, and we played the monkey middle. If they played hollow middle, they just win as long as anything lands, right? We just have to we have to play to, to our fail safes. Also, I feel like we haven't been drawing. We haven't been drawing uh super well either. It's very nice to be winning while also like not drawing crazy well. What are you guys' thoughts on, um... Thick? Um... <laughs> don't... <laughs> don't thumbs up me, you peas. <laughs> and... What if I had a surprise claw? Imagine? Wait, what? This is so bad for them. They just throw? I feel like they just threw super hard. Am I crazy to think that they threw crazy hard? Playing the silk is a huge throw. I don't have to worry about the nebula all that much. Once we move the silk, we'll win. What a snap, I think. We won't snap. They're, they're in a lot of trouble though. I mean, they're they're not in a great spot. Bast would probably be our best top deck. We can go Mystique, Mystique Kitty Bast or Mystique Hit Monkey Bast. I think we're fine no matter what though. They have to be able to put a lot of power out. I mean, we are moving the Silk so they get plus five, but and they could have some other funky stuff. Oh, this is fine. We have Kitty. The the Titania doesn't matter as much as they may think. Every Professor X player is shorter than 5'8". Why are you hating him? I don't think we can win because they're always going to play enough so that the Titania ends up on our side if we play one. They're going to play maybe just one card. No, they're going to play two cards always. I don't think we're going to win here. I don't, I don't know if we can win. The Titania really messes us up without being able to play two cards left. That was very well played by them with the Titania. Incredibly well played. I'm very happy I didn't snap. Uh, I think we just lose here. We're giving them the Silk too. Mystique the Hawk, it's only 12 power chat. And then we're giving them Silk and Titania because they're always going to tempo it out so that they get the Titania. Silk blocks Titania from jumping if they play two. No, it doesn't. Play claw for him. Uh, if we move the silk over, even if they play two cards, they'll have three cards here. The titanium will jump twice. Uh, they, they, it will always work for them. We play mid first so that titania jumps and goes back, but then we're not winning right middle, which is very important because all we can play is the kitty, right? We're always losing that. Pona played that very, very well. We just take a one cube loss. You just, uh, like I said, this deck you have to be very patient.
We, we almost forced them out of the game with Silk pretty well. Daredevil players wipe back the front. Logan Loper, why, why do you care what other people play so much? It's really weird. He's just focused on trying to be better at the game. You should also never judge any player for any card that they choose to play. Very, very weird energy. It speaks a lot more about you than uh, about the opponent. Um, we have Zabu in the negative. I think we're always snapping here, right? I can't believe they stream sniped me like that? I don't think they stream sniped at all. I think they just made a very, very good play. I guess they st are you saying Daredevil's a stream snipe maybe? It's quite funny. Can you hurry up and sign a Twitch contract so you can give me your Prime set? I'm trying, man. I, well, I'm not trying. I'm, <laughs> that's a lie. <laughs> I'm not going to sit here and lie to you. It's not true. <laughs> I'm, I'm not trying. I haven't, I haven't put any effort into it. <laughs> Yo, great game, Nine Dude. You played um Uh you played incredibly well. Um uh, I didn't really have a way around around you. Oh, and you were gonna lock the silk right. I might have lost to that. But yeah, the Titania play was was uh yeah, the Titania play was really, really good. Uh, the Titanium play was was very very well done. I, I was very impressed by it. Uh, you played super super well. GG's. My death was sniping is like literally right here. I don't I don't know why I don't know why people just like assume people are stream snipers. So weird. Dex been doing really well. Uh, stats right now. You could jokingly say 100% win rate, but stats. Oh wait, I actually had it loaded in the AQ win that that we missed earlier. Um, there must be a wave deck chat, which is okay. We can beat a wave deck. Uh, we can beat a wave deck. And the Iron Man left is so funky, huh? Diamond left feels so weird if they have any kind of like defensive play. Morph goes nuts here. I don't want to save it though. I want to save it for next turn. Just play the Iron Man left. Load on their Nebula. Okay. I am Iron Man. Hog. Always losing here, unfortunately. Because they can just play their big Hulk right, and we don't really have anything that can do anything about it. This is a great Professor X by them. Very well played. Yeah, the, don't 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 worry about it, Chet. Hold on, you just it didn't seem like you were sniping at all. You just played very well. I think I think someone was maybe making a joke about Daredevil. Was was the guess? the Black Bolt Stature deck a try. I, I played previous versions of Black Bolt Stature, but not like the very popular one. The tough four keeper. That's fine. Rough rough locations for, for, our, for our deck. That thing variant with the animation. Is the animation good with it? I kind of like that thing variant. It's like the weird, spooky, uh, lava-y one. Play some for Monkey. Uh, any small card. Uh, we're, the, we're an Iron Man deck. Can snap here. Uh, any small card. 
uh, with zero power. Zero power cards. Place it with a small zero power card. Someone recorded a video saying I uh, never got infinite. That's okay. Not long ago. You're doing hella well. Thank you. Yeah, we're almost at 150. It's pretty crazy. I feel like a lot of people also didn't get the point of that video because like I've had so many people who are just like talk a lot of shit about how like I said that and like uh, now I like talk about like stats and stuff like that. But uh, the point of that video was just to say that like I, I think it's important to have perspective and like be understanding and okay uh, no matter how how good of a player you are. I think people took it as like, uh, let's just play the Angel out. The Angel's a bit iffy, but we'll get to at least eight. I think we'll get to at least eight. Uh, people took that video as like, I don't know, I don't know how to describe it. People took it as like, I'm not gonna try, I don't know, I don't know. People are just weird, I guess is the answer. Ah! That's not cool. You think they're gonna try and Professor X me? and bass and the iron man it seems like okay but like the bass being only one power feels really bad especially if they have sean yeah i think he's gonna try and spider man me on the final turn too but if, if they have like he hulk we just lose right I mean, I just don't think we ever win, right? Even if they Spider-Man us here? Yeah, we shouldn't have Bastion. I think that was that was a misplay. I think that was a misplay. Imagine if I had Sean here, though. That would go so dummy good. Actually, it would just be a tie. What does this look like? 22? Use with Hulk. Did P.O. play three times already with they? I don't know. Did they? I don't, I don't remember them wearing Cloak if they did. Probably shouldn't have snapped there. Was the video also pre seven Q per rank change? Well, it was, it was pre uh, halfway going halfway up change. I don't think that that's what put me over the top to infinite though. I actually, I really don't want Jane Foster to come. Ah, that shouldn't matter. Because it's a better chance for negative to come down. So like, it might just be better just to play it. So bad. We just had to give there. Though they will have to spend spend some to get the the sunspot charge though. So they they do have some work to do. Oh, it's a hella deck. Almost certainly a hella deck. Almost certainly a hella deck. Uh, we can find ways to win, though. It's not going to be super easy.
thought it was Sag. And they're just yoking up that sunspot, man. Uh, but we're gonna get the Raft card. If they wave us, we're in trouble. If the they wave us, we're in a lot of trouble. Dinosaur. Big card. That yeah, dude. Should still win right here. Let's say like Darkhawk. Darkhawk was pretty nutty. Yeah, I think we still win this. Let's go. Easy wins, boys. Gotta wait for the Schmodok? Infinity Avatar? What does Schmodok mean? Yeah, Monkey's a good card, man. People put a lot of stock into getting infinite, but it's a huge time commitment as well as a skill test, so I'd say people don't really have the time to single the game, and that's okay. Yeah, so true. So true. It was it was more just saying, like, I want this community to be a place where like they don't invalidate players and like their opinions just because like I feel like like people can get in, in, in a lot of card gaming communities, people get like really toxic about it, like a lot of things. You know what I mean? People get just like really toxic and just like dismiss anyone because it's like, oh, you haven't done this, you haven't done this, you haven't done this. When like everyone has like different goals and like opinions on what they want to play. Like my goal for, for playing this game has never been to like hit infinite. It's just to play on ladder and <clears throat> play different decks every day and to have fun. Now, have I gotten a lot better as a player over by playing this professionally full time? Yeah, so I've gotten I've gotten a lot um I've gotten a lot better at the game and and now I've gotten to the point where where I hit hit infinite uh pretty consistently and that's just because I I sink in even just on stream like 30 hours then usually another like 5 or 6 hours off stream uh playing this game just cuz I really really enjoy the game. But it's just it's just all a perspective thing that I feel like people don't don't give it credit for. Every every gaming community that has a competitive scene is like that. Um some are better than others. Some are very toxic and some are less toxic. I think like Snap at, at its like core is like very rude. Very incredibly rude. Uh, we should still be fine here though, because you just go. Ah! Never mind. We can't fucking dream dimension because of uh, negative. We're still fine though, right? I think we're still fine. Maybe I shouldn't. No, I, uh, I should have negative middle. Probably should have negative middle. Yeah, I, I was thinking not because of Jane, but I can't play Jane. I didn't line those up. No way they run Rouge. I used to run Rouge in a um, in a version of uh, Ongoing Destroyer. Pretty fun. Hey, chat, we can land the Jane Foster in Luke's bar. It's kind of cool. I think. We'll have to math it out. Actually, we can't. We only have one uh, two zero costs. Will not work if we do it. Fortunately. This is a surfer deck for sure. So what's the absolute max they can get left? It would be 14. This would get 6, 10, 11. Hopefully we get two hits here, one hit here. Now they could switch and go two right, but I think they go two left. And they just ignore the Starcock. I think this wins. Yep, played around perfectly. 
Played around everything perfectly, chat. We just have to hit. We as long as two hits don't go right, which is almost impossible for that to happen, uh, we we win. It's not almost impossible, but it would really suck. Yeah, very well played. Life coach is still deciding to play Iceman in turn one. What's wrong with playing Iceman in turn one? You ever played Kang, useless card in the game? Uh, it's not useless. Kang can be really good. Kang is best as a draw engine, in my opinion. Uh, which card should you buy? <laughs> found the Galactus player, by the way, chat. Chat, I found the Galactus player. <laughs> Have you, do you guys, did you guys spot the Galactus player? Uh, I know Life Coach. He was a, a big Hearthstone player. I don't think there's anything wrong with playing Iceman on one though. I, I don't get it. He ropes? That's fine. I rope sometimes. Especially when chat. If, if you guys were streamers, you'd understand it's a lot easier to rope than you'd think. Oh, they're joking about whether or not to play Iceman in turn one. That's tough, man. Roping is the ideal way to play uh, most games, unfortunately. You're trying to play as uh, ideally as possible. Genuine question, why do you choose Ladder over Conquest? Who's going to tell him? Go watch my most recent vi YouTube video. Explain my YT. Um, I play... Ladder over Conquest because I like variety. Uh, when you're playing Conquest, you get a much smaller variety of decks, and then you have to play that deck over and over again. Uh, whereas if you play on Ladder, you play a different deck every single game, and it goes by very quickly, and you play a lot of different things. Um, I did beat Conquest, though, so I don't know why I would play Conquest anymore. I already beat it. You know what I mean? Why would I play a mode that I've already won? Uh, also, it just gets me way too stressed. Like, if you watch the Conquest video that I posted yesterday, uh, I literally, I think I took like six months off of my life. It was the most, I, I've never try harded that hard ever. It was awful. It, I hated it. Yo, let's go four cost boss. You're infinite, so you kind of beat ladder too. Ladder, I just like playing the game, man. <laughs> I just, I, that's one thing. I, are they galaxing me? They're not galaxing me. I just like playing this game a lot. Okay, um... Harry homebrewing a deck and going 11-0 is awesome. I homebrew all my decks. Am I not impressing? What does 11-0 mean? Are you, named, are you like Marvel Snap name 5 pixel variants? Double Washington DC against a crazy wave Ultron player? Hey, I don't know how we beat Patriot <laughs> Onslaught, right? <laughs> uh, we're, we're sure going to try. I don't even think Flip Mystique can do anything for us, right? <laughs> Terrible draw. Why aren't you using your infinite avatar? I am. That's why it's purple and beautiful. It's actually just really hard to see in-game. I do wish they had made it more poppy. I will never not be using my leader infinite avatar. Uh, unless I get a new another one next month, and then maybe I'll switch off. I also agree it's kind of hard to notice, but this is in fact the infinite avatar. But <laughs> it's busy changing his underwear right now. He did get the dream, man. He did get the dream. 
They might have moved one and then played the Patriot somewhere else, which is kind of interesting. Like, they might have moved the right one and then played the Patriot right. I think that might have been the best play. It's kind of interesting. You wish I made the reward a gold back to Avatar? Yeah, they'd, they'd have to do that for, like, every thing, though. I can understand that being annoying to do. Um, Negative on one, man. It's pretty good. Or negative on three. Snap on that. Locations aren't great, but... Negative zone is good for Iron Man? What are you talking about? What are you talking about, you weirdo? Ah! I was so scared that I was going to hit my Mr. Negative. Nice man did indeed spare me. Uh, we'll have to decide next turn if we have to worry about wave. I don't think we do though. This is a spectrum deck. Ah, man. Ooh, wait, we can stop their spectrum. I don't know how good that is though. I don't even think that's that good, right? Stopping their spectrum isn't that good. I think we need Flip Darkhawk next turn. I think our only out is Flip Darkhawk, and I still don't think that's an out. I think we're still losing all day. Ah, the Cosmo would have been pretty nice now. Nice snap. Dead negative is always rough. Uh, we're doing incredibly well today. I think we've gained six ranks. We started at 41. We've gained 56 cubes today, so I would not say it's going uh, rough. I would not say it's going rough. We're winning on average 1.3 cubes a game. We're actually doing very, very well today. Banks, could I give you an infinity avatar and get Ben Brode to give get me one? Nah, you gotta earn it, man. Mr. Negative looks like Rick and Morty. This Mr. Negative does kind of do do be kind of looking like Rick from Rick and Morty. You're not wrong. Negative is so fun when it lines up and underwhelming when it doesn't. It's a patient tech. You just have to be very, very patient. Um, which is very hard for some players and me often. Why don't they nightcrawl in lab? Great question. Oh, when you when you Draw, yes, when you draw a, a flip negative, it's very sad. I agree with that. There's more left. Okay. HE deck. HE Hulk one time. We know they have Spider Man, so we have to expect a Spider Man on 5 chat. Rouge. Okay. Weird. Negative one time. Bubby. Churries is also weird for a deck unless you have Kitty. Yeah, Kitty on one makes it makes it very strong. But outside of that, it's it's quite tough. You are you are not wrong. I forgot that the bass just dumpsters dumpsters of this, huh? We'll just play the Iron Man left. They're gonna Spider-Man left, I would say 90% of the time. But at least this puts them where they can't just HE Hulk right, uh, left, which is really good for us. We might be snapping here, actually. They're, they're, I feel like we're putting them in a really tough position. We're gonna snap. They're gonna try and Spider-Man left, I think. They might Spider-Man middle, but we can get around that with Iron Heart maybe. But my expectation would be Spider-Man le Spider left. Geniuses chat. So now they have to put a pretty big investment like anywhere to, to make this make this pay off. Uh, so they can't just do like a, a very simple uh, HE Hulk play. 
which is definitely what they wanted to do. Um, they could split push. They can't just play HE Hulk though, which is really important. Not allowing them to just play HE Hulk is very, very good for us. Uh, they could have Abomination, which can cause us some troubles. Maybe we want to try and make sure we're winning left by enough, right by enough, or just let them retreat. It is. Um, I think that this, like, it's playing against these lockdown decks, it's nice that we knew that they have Spider-Man, right? Like, this, this obviously helps a lot, but, um, trying to call out where they're going to Spider-Man and make them lose all, uh, make them be losing so they can't just do a, a simple HE hold play is, is very good. <laughs> 